Here we explore a fascinating collection of stone built astronomical instruments named Jantar Mantar. Yantra meaning instrument or device and mantra refers to calculation or formula, not the religious chant. These giant instruments were built for precise observation of the sky and the astronomical positions with the naked eye. The instruments at Jantar Mantar embody several architectural and instrumental innovations. Each structure is precise, powerful and built entirely by hand. These monumental structures are not just scientific tools, they are a stunning blend of art, astronomy and innovation reflecting the rich cosmological knowledge of Indians. Jantar Mantar is more than a monument, it is a masterpiece of ancient science. At a time when the world was shrinking telescopes for personal use, Raja Jai Singh too built huge observatories open for all to see and use. They were the vision of Raja Jai Singh, a ruler who loved mathematics, astronomy and architecture. Jaipur gets its name from its founder Maharaja Jai Singh who lived during 1693 to 1744. Raja Jai Singh was a great warrior and astronomer. He was Kachavaha Rajput ruler of the kingdom of Amber. He came to power at the age of 11 on the death of his father Maharaja Bishan Singh. The Maharaja was told that his son would achieve greatness and he set out to ensure that. Jai Singh had a good education. He was trained by the best teachers and scholars in art, science, philosophy and military affairs. Now the next question that comes to our mind is why were these built? The Jantar Mantars were built due to the interest of Maharaja Jai Singh in astronomy. It was built so that scientists of that time could use it to make more careful astronomical observations. It was built to prove Indian merit by designing new instruments for astronomical measurements. It was built so that the Maharaja and his government could schedule events properly with accurate measurements of the planets so that the best days could be accurately forecasted for big events. A major dispute occurred in 1719 between Hindu and Muslim astrologers over planetary positions which affected the timing of an important expedition. Raja Jai Singh believed this disagreement arose from inaccurate astrological tables. So to resolve this, he proposed building accurate observatories and was granted permission by Emperor Muhammad Shah. The aim was to ensure precise astronomical data as such accuracy was crucial for scheduling religious and state ceremonies believed to influence the fate of the empire. There are five Jantar Mantars across India. One of the remarkable aspects of Jai Singh's observatories is that each site is distinctly different in size, layout and style. While the instruments he designed are essentially the same in principle, the versions at different sites vary in size, materials and construction. The first observatory to be built was the observatory at Delhi in 1724. The Jaipur observatory that is the most elaborate was begun by 1728. Smaller observatories were built in Banaras, Ujjain and Mathura. Of the five observatories, all expect the observatory at Mathura still exist and are publicly accessible. The Mathura observatory and the fort in which it was housed were demolished just before 1857. The observatories at Delhi and Jaipur are the best known and most visited. They are within major tourist destinations. They also feature the largest versions of the instrument and the Jaipur observatory houses the greatest number and variety of instruments. The geographic coordinates of Jaipur, Rajasthan are 26.9124 degree north, 75.7873 degrees east. Here we can see the site plan of the Jaipur observatory. The Jantar Mantar observatory in Jaipur constitutes the most significant and best preserved set of fixed in monumental instruments built in India in the first half of the 18th century. Some of them are the largest ever built in their categories. The observatories forms part of the tradition of Ptolemic positional astronomy which was shared by many civilizations contributed by this type of observation to the completion of astronomical tables of Jis. The Jaipur observatory comprises of 16 machinery instruments and 6 made up of metal. The names of these instruments are Samrat Yantra, Ram Yantra, Jayaprakash Yantra, Kapali Yantra, Rashivala Yantra. The observatories occupies a plot of land just outside the city palace within the walls of the original city. 
the observatories include a number of instruments that are not duplicated at the other sites the observatory was a meeting point for different scientific cultures and gave rise to widespread social practices linked to cosmology it was also a symbol of royal authority through its urban dimensions its control of time and its rational and astronomical forecasting capacities the observatory is the product of political scientific and religious needs coming together there are two sun dials named lagu samrat yantra that is small samrat yantra and brihat samrat yantra both are identical in theory and function the brihat samrat yantra is five times bigger in proportion which makes it 10 times more precise than the smaller version the instruments are used to calculate local time and also forecast the rains the lagu samrat yantra up to 20 second precise and brihat samrat yantra is 2 seconds precise next is nadi valai yantra this nadi valai yantra helps in determining the local time only the northern part that is uttari gola built originally the southern part was added before the regime of maharaja pratap singh when the whole building was rebuilt in 1771 both the instruments are needed as one works in winter that is southern hemisphere and one works in summer that is northern hemisphere as the sun moves north and south during the year only one of the other receives the direct sunlight nadi vala yantra also helps in finding the positions of the sun the dhruva darshak pattika is remarkable instrument at jantar mantar designed to locate the pole star that is dhruva tara and ursa major constellation it is also used as pole star instrument the yantra raj yantra is a astrolog one of the largest in the world it calculates the hindu calendar the vertically hanging instrument is virtually a celestial map it is a neatly engraved seven metal alloy disc of over 2 meters diameter the hole at the center is the pole star the number of astrological calculations such as the speed of the particular planet dates of the sun and moon eclipse sunset sunrise or moonrise can be calculated by this instrument so the next time you plan a trip to the pink city jaipur make sure jantar mantar is at the top of your must visit list its majestic architecture and rich astronomical legacy are truly a marvel to explore thank you for watching and stay tuned for more fantastic content